In this video, we are going to understand about adjacent angles. Now, we have two angles here, which is one is angle A and the other one is angle B. Now, what do I note here? Both angle A and angle B have a common vertex. Right? They also have a common arm. Now, which is the common arm? The common arm is this line. This is common to both because angle B, if I see, is from this, this and this place. Angle A is formed by this, this and this. So, this particular arm which I have highlighted in yellow is common between both of them. And the third property is that they are non-common arm. Which is the non-common arm in these? It's basically this one for angle A and this one for angle B. So, the non-common arm which is, as I have highlighted, R on either side of common arm. This is the common arm. On either side of it, you have non-common arms. So, in such a case, these two angles, angle A and angle B, are called adjacent angle. Adjacent itself means side on my side. So, adjacent angle are three angles or rather two angles which have three properties. One, they have a common vertex, they have a common arm, this is the one and then non-common arm are on either side of the common arm. So, this is the non-common arm for angle B, this is the non-common arm for angle A and these are on either sides of the common arm. It's not that both of them are on the same side. Okay? So, these two are basically called the adjacent angles. Similarly, if I had a situation where I was having this M N, again there is a common arm the non-common arms are on either sides therefore again these two angles are adjacent to each other 